Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our satisfactory 1.0 playthrough. In our last episode, we were just starting to think about phase four, and I worked on that stuff a little bit. Uh, copper powder, for example, we've been building up here, just pulling off whatever copper ingots we have left on the line, slooping it, and throwing it in a box, because we did the calculations, and we basically need one box full. In fact, slightly less than one box full, so I'm pretty much there on copper powder, and the copper powder is to make nuclear pasta. And then I've been building up the other things that we will need, so we should be pretty much good to go on making these phase four items. Um, let me double check, but I've already made the modular engines over here, I think. That's what this one is anyway. Uh, yes, and I have 100, 200, 349. That should be plenty if we're slooping the output. And then over here, I set up the, yeah, the wiring. Whoop, whoop. And the wiring is also good to go here as long as we have, yep, a full stack right there. So now I should be good to start making the project assembly parts. And what rate are those made at, is the real question. So I need thermal, uh, where, what do I even make that in? What is it? Directory, assembly director system. Oh, that's just made in an assembler. And that'll be 1.5, that'll be about three a minute. And I need 500 of them. So maybe I'll make two assemblers for that so that we get under 100 minutes and rubber I don't need okay so we'll get two assemblers going for that and we'll have to do some black magic here That looks so ridiculous, but it's perfect. Look at this, just like we drew it up. Uh, okay, so then this is gonna be making the assembly director systems. Oh, I haven't made the adaptive control units yet. Well, crap, I guess we gotta do that first. Um, guess we gotta do that first. So let's... Let's see, let's switch gears on this one to make the ACUs. And how many of those do I need? So if I need 500 of these, I need 500 adaptive control units, which is also pretty slow. Two, five a minute. So that's 100 minutes. So I might want to set up two of these, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um I'm gonna pick all this up. And we're gonna do this over on the east side of the base here. Cause this is just a little too chaotic. There, it just pulled me sideways on that belt. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but that's that bug I was talking about last stream. I don't understand why it does that sometimes. It's really weird. Okay, so here we have quite a bit more space. Um, and in fact, I think I'll just do my manufacturer blueprint because I want two of them. So this works out pretty easy. And are we backed up on things like turbo motors yet? Oh, we're still not? That's crazy. Thought we might be. Uh, we're halfway there on turbo motors. And what about on the other stuff? Cooling units are certainly good to go, but I think we already knew that. Yeah, we uh, went ahead and... I guess I should power shard this one too, just in case. Yeah, Glasses Dax is uh, playing today. Okay, fused frames. How are we looking on fused frames? Uh, not good. Not good. We are about halfway there on fuse frames as well. So we'll keep that slooped. 
We'll keep the whatever those are called slooped. And it looks like radio control units we can de sloop. Finally. Unpause that. Okay. So now we're setting up the adaptive control units. And that should be pretty, pretty simple. Just need to throw everything into, oh gosh, into those storage containers and sloop it and shard it. And then that gets us to five a minute. No, 10 a minute. Okay, perfect. So I need, how much do we need? We said we needed 500, which means I need 250 heavy modular frames. So there's 150. Um, let me just write this down. So I need 250 HMF. I need 500 computer. I need 1250 circuit board and 1250 automated wiring. Okay. Computers, I probably should just go grab from, I'm just gonna go grab all this stuff from the containers and the rubber, whatever, I'll just trash it. I don't need that rubber. We don't need that rubber. And we'll fly back over here. My base is not gonna like me taking 500 computers and 1250 circuit boards. I am gonna say that. It is not gonna like this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten computers and circuit boards. Are those at the bottom here? Where are they? Yeah, there we go. Uh, we said 1250. Six. 50. Did I do that right? 500 of those means 500 computers. Yep, yeah, that is right, unfortunately. Um, 250. 1250, because 500 times two and a half and 1250. Yeah, that all seems correct. Um, let me get rid of a few things here. Some random blue slugs. Don't need packaged liquid biofuel anymore, which is nice. All right, and then do I have enough space to grab? I don't, all the wiring. I'll have to come back for the wiring. So yeah, we are gonna make it to tier nine very soon. I'm excited about that. We'll need a particle accelerator too. It'll be the first particle accelerator I've ever built in Satisfactory, which will be, I presume, pretty satisfying. All right, so you get circuit boards, you get computers. I need more heavy modular frames. And then we'll go back for the wiring here. Did not mean to do that, there we go. And then wiring, where's the power on this bad boy? I guess we need floor power as usual. All right, connect it over to floor power here. Perfect. What's up, Jupiter? How goes it? All right, let's go grab the speed wiring or automated wiring, whatever it's called. You know. Gosh, I love how fast we go. It's amazing. It makes the base feel real small. All right. All the way over here. Um, just do a flyby. 
Haven't even used half of our ionized fuel. I don't need these anymore. All right. Slam into this at warp speed. Should be it. I will also just hand the wiring here. Boom, boom. Okay. I want to say that's good. That will get me the adaptive control units. And we have fully slupified both. All right, and then I need the pressure conversion cubes. The magnetic field generators should be pretty quick. Those are 500 a minute, so one assembler. Yeah, I'll just do my three assembler build for that. And did I make the versatile framework? I think we already did that. I needed like, how much versatile framework? I need five for four, so I needed 625. That's not very much at all. And I think, I think we already have that. But let's double check. If we set it up in this building. Right here. Maybe. Looks like I did. Yep. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 25. More than enough. Give me your sloops back. Okay. I did also upgrade my quartz to um, a Mark III miner, because we had actually run out of quartz here, which was scary. So hopefully that maintains... 480 quarts a minute that I'm trying to bring in here. Okay, so we're good on the magnetic stuff. Let's get that going, I guess. Blueprints, assemblers X3. Um, let's see. This one's pretty easy. Floor power being needed. Okay. Magnetic field generator, sloops, shards, copy. So that'll be 15 a minute. And how many control rods do I need? I only need 250. That's so chill. So chill. Put 300 in there. Alright. I think that's done. Yeah? Alright. And then... The cubes. Pressure conversion cube. Okay, so I need assemblers for that. Uh, the rate will be 5 a minute. And I only need to make a hundred of them, so three assemblers again is more than enough. We'll just do this again, get that going, because we do have another step afterwards too. This is just the easy way to do it. Automating this stuff is for chumps. Alright, um... <laughs> I need... 50 fused modular frames and 100 radio control units. That's so easy. You know what? I might not even... Do I even need to sloop these? I might as well. Wait, where'd they go? There they are. I guess we'll just do two. It's only going to take ten minutes with two of them. And then I'll turn that one off. Okay. 
Yeah. I think I did my math wrong. For some reason, I was thinking it would be 100 minutes. But it's literally going to be 10 minutes. So. Uh, that's not very bad. 50 frames and 100 radio control units. Done. Now, they might not distribute evenly, is one thing to think about. Because that'll need exactly 50. I guess we are using a splitter, so at least for two buildings it should work properly. Um, yeah, that actually works out. Control units are going. This is the one that's going to take 50 minutes. Okay. What's up, Dark Crow? How goes it? And then this one, I'm going to need six sloops to sloopify. And that's going to be a pretty slow one. 0.75. Five times three. Eh, it'll still only be fifty minutes. Five, six sloops. Are all these blueprints on the site? Um, most of them. All the ones that require require a blueprint designer mark one. I still haven't started the part of the series where I do the mark two blueprint designer. So manufacturers aren't there, blenders aren't there, fuel generators aren't there. Um, but all of the smaller buildings are there. Okay, and then the final one is the propulsion one, which I remember being pretty chill. Uh, manufacturer. It'll end up being five a minute, which is 20, 40, 50 minutes for just one manufacturer. Okay. And I already have the engines, I already have the turbo motors, I have the cooling. Yeah, we have everything for that. That'll be chill. I just don't have enough sloops. So maybe I need to go do some sloop hunting? Sloopage? Shall we go find some sloopage? See if there's anything just chilling. Why not? With ionized fuel, we can travel easier than ever. I mean, it really is crazy. I've still only used a third of this fuel pack. Anything? Anything? No? Fueler? About over here. Loop. Drive. Nothing. Alright, I'll come back over to the tower towers. Alright, the best thing about zipline is that your jetpack recharges while you're on the zipline. So that's pretty flippin' handy. No sloops, huh? I thought there'd be one nearby. One that I didn't catch. Nothing. Come on. Anyone up here? No. Shocked, I tell you. I guess part of the problem is I have already grabbed a decent amount of sloops. Oop, there's one. We got a live one. Is this a way direction? Oh, it's underneath me. Down, down here. In a cave? No? Okay. Even lower? Hmm. There's a slug there, but this might be... Ooh, look! We found some Sam! What are you? A normal node? Probably spiders in here or something.
Apparently, it's just opening a passageway. Does not tell me where the sloop sloop is. Maybe the sloop is not in. I just assumed. Incorrectly. Must be deeper underground? Interesting. I would have thought that would be reachable from here. But this doesn't seem to be the same network that the sloop is in. Same cave network. This just is a small little cave that doesn't seem to attach. Alright, alright. By the way, I am including this exploration. Oh, here we go. Down here. I'm including this exploration because I haven't done any exploration for a while on the YouTube episodes. So you guys haven't gotten to see all the fancy new tricks that we can. Oh, God! Play with. Um, all the homing rifle ammo and whatnot. And power towers and jetpacks. We got we got all sorts of toys that make it fun. You know, one thing I haven't done is set up nuclear nobilisks. That would be pretty fun. That would be pretty fun. All right, summer sloop. It's a lot of work to get one sloop in this day and age. Sloopflation has hit pretty hard value of one sloop less than it used to be need four whole sloops to power a manufacturer what's next a particle accelerator is gonna need eight potentially I can see that being a thing actually um, <laughs> that could certainly be a thing all right well I will go... There's got to be some in the swamp. I don't think I was looking for sloops last time I was in the swamp. So there's got to be one or two in here. I mean, I see a Mercer Sphere right here, so I, I will grab that. Oh, there's a sloop. Bugs are going to come, but I'm hoping I can grab this first and just get the heck out of here. All right, there's the sloop. Ah! No thanks. No, thank you. The homing ammo is quite nice to deal with those little dudes. And you're pretty close to dead. No? Sure, we don't die. Yeah, only 106 sloops on the map. It's not a huge number. And obviously, like, finding, you know, 90 of those is exponentially harder than finding 80 of them. So there's diminishing returns. I bet if you look pretty hard, you still only probably find like 70. Because it's hard to literally get every single nook and cranny of the map. All right, I see two yellow power slugs. Do not care. All I want is the sloops. All I want for Christmas is my two front sloops. Honestly, I'm mostly just doing this because we need to do something while we wait for those machines to craft. So, I figure I find a couple sloops while we wait. Good deal. Probably, I was about to say, there's probably one over here. I was right. We already checked for hard drives, but sloops? Wait a second. Here's this one. Wait, what? Is it up here? Ah. Hey. 
There she blows. Nice. All right, that's three we're holding. Let's see if we can find one more. One more. Oh, okay. I will take it if it's literally under my feet. It's an easy four power shards that I don't have to make later. But we're getting close to being able to automate them, which is exciting. Oh, we got stuck. Hmm. Ooh, there's another one. We got one. Man, ionized fuel is amazing. Is it underground? Uh, I think it's getting further away as I go higher. Yeah, unfortunately. That means it's probably all the way down here. Probably in this little cave. To be Frank. Frank, I'm Crydax. Alright, yeah, that's a bad joke, I know. Don't worry. direction and there's some really ugly things down here hmm well I don't think it's in here I'll just leave those spiders to do their spidery things jetpack on at it Trying to get out? I think they're trying to get out. You know, it might be in the waterfall here. There we go. Classic video game. Through the waterfall. It seems that it is... Like, right there. Interesting. Oh my. We found some more uranium guarded by more spooters. Is the sloop in like a separate little chamber? Ah, yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, I've seen an ore cluster with, uh, with the sloop under at one time. And yeah, I discovered real quick that with you, without the hazmat suit, you cannot mine uranium. <laughs> I thought I thought I could like mine some and then trash it and then mine some and then trash it and uh, it kills you real quick if you don't have a hazmat suit. So you do kind of have to wait. So there is actually a sloop somewhere that I haven't got. It's up in the red forest because I remember dying to it and then I gave up on it because I didn't have the hazmat suit yet. Somewhere on the map, there's a chunk of uranium with a sloop inside of it that I have not yet grabbed. Oh, look! This is convenient. And I don't die. I'll take a free Mercer Spear. Out of ammo. Ow. I thought it would die sooner. I'm getting overconfident. As much as I love the homing rifle, it doesn't do that much damage per shot. You can upload uranium to the- oh my god, and now there's a green spider. And these guys have a lot of life. Convince you guys to come out here in the middle of nowhere where I can just help you. Okay, I got them both. Nice. Hey, Derek, you're welcome. Glad you've been enjoying them. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I didn't even get the sloop. I got the sphere. Right. That was supposed to be a, just a freebie, easy sphere. And that ended up being a lot of work. 
Also, is this a hard drive? <gasps> this is a hard drive. That I haven't gotten. Exciting times. Of course, I have to deal with radioactive bombs. Nonetheless. What? What else? I'm not really sure if this is faster than shooting them. Sometimes I feel like the explosives are good, other times I'm not so sure. Sometimes it, it works such that all the little clustery bits hit the hog when you blow it up, and I feel like that's when you really get a good uh, damage on one. Alright, heat sinks. Drop a stamp. Whoa, it just got laggy. Yeah, something about these big trees near nighttime gets really laggy for me. It's really weird. I don't know what's up with that. Grab this slug. Alright, I think we'll fly home and go check on how everything's doing. Except, I still haven't gotten this loop that I came here to get, is that right? Oh, it's under me. Again. Alright. Um, probably in here. If I had to guess. Yep, there it is. Of course, we have to do a little bit of convincing the local. Whoa! Where did he go? He was standing in those sticks. Maybe if I just stand here. <gasps> I got it! My skin feels itchy all of a sudden. I wonder what that achievement was for. Ooh, there's another one. Another one. Up. Or down. Seems like up is actually helping. It's probably on top of the tree. Yep. There she blows. Witness a single strand of the tapestry. Witness a single strand of the tapestry. And there's another one. Alright, this was good. We needed a few more sloops. Of course, this one's guarded. By two poison spiders. Oh, jeez. They're pretty good at midair colliding when they want to. You have to change your trajectory pretty consistently. Not get hit by that. Uh, I think you guys would just let me have it. You guys can't jump. no sloops. I don't really care about spheres. I already have quite a few. I should probably do the other stack upgrade, to be honest. Right now we're at three stacks, but I could do the four stack upgrade. Alright. Where's our train stop? Seems like a good place to launch myself at Mark V speeds. Get home. Look at that little truck down there. Like ants. Alright, no sloop up here, no hard drive. There's a purple slug here. Might as well grab. Because I have been using a lot of power shards, so I'm. I i do not know how far we have to go into tier 9 to actually make them. 
We're not there yet. All right, so that's only 72. Did I do the math wrong? The heck? What? Oh, 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 oh. Right, because I deleted the last of the buildings, stuff got stuck in the... Oh, and now I just broke this one. That's fine. All right, if I just give you all my stuff. 13 doubles into 26, and that's 72. I'm still missing a couple. Really? That doesn't make sense. How would I be missing... Ah, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. All right, make some more pressure conversion cubes. And then this guy has made 100, 200, 330. Getting close to the 500 mark there. And then let's make our first particle accelerator. Big boy. With three little loop de loops. Does only use four sloops, thankfully. And it consumes, on average, one gigawatt. And then you quadruple it with sloops to be four gigawatts. And then you sloop it to be about 12 gigawatts. So, can we handle 12 gigawatts right now? I think we can. Yep, just barely. It might dig into our batteries a smidgen. But, uh... But yeah, here we go. Let's grab our PCCs, as I shall call them, of which I... Oh wait, I only needed 50 of those. See, I, d I didn't even do my math right. I only need 50. I have extras, great. Love having extras. Uh, so let's go grab the copper powder then. Which is over here. Uh, yeah, dismantle chest. I figured that would be a thing. That's fine. Dump that in there. And we should see this thing fire up. Here in a moment. 250 a minute. Here we go. It's working. It's working. And we do have a lot of batteries in the system, so those can handle the fluctuating nature of the particle acceleration. Um, yeah, we'll see. I think I have like 30 batteries. Should be enough to handle this. Oh my goodness. Wait, I thought we said it would use 12 gigawatts. Did I really math that so wrong? This is showing a maximum of five. It's a lot less than I thought it would be. Oh, there we go. Getting, it's getting revved up. There we go. Well, the first one wasn't slooped, I guess. Um, I don't know why that the first one doesn't get slooped sometimes. It's weird. How do I manage resources? Uh, I am doing a mega bus, or at least a bus. I don't know if I'd call it mega. It feels pretty mega, but... It still needs to be bigger. Um, but yeah, I am doing a bus in this run. I don't know if I'd do it again, but it works, technically. I think next time I'll rush trains into a train-based base. But there are honestly downsides to all the methods. The thing I don't love about Satisfactory is the difficulty to move around lots of items. I think 
given that logistics is kind of the game, I think logistics are a little too painful and satisfactory for my liking, compared to something like Factorio or even Dyson Sphere Program. Um, it's just a little too painful for me. So yeah, I can ditch all this now. Um, crap, I just powered it down. I don't know if that messes things up with the particle accelerator. Are drones worth the investment? Uh, yeah, I mean, drones are inefficient in one sense, but if you set up a good fuel source, um, it mostly supports a lot of drones, and they move things from point to point, which is nice. So... I'm using drones right now, for example, to go get nitrogen from over there. But once you've set up like a two-way train system, drones aren't that much easier than trains. It's just nice because you don't have to like set up a train stop for them. Um, but if you have a nice blueprint for train stops and train intersections and all that, you can make trains pretty easily too. That kind of span the map. And I don't know. I'm guessing it could be funny to make a bunch of nuclear fuel and use that to power drones, and then you can probably power a lot of drones with nuclear fuel. One, two, three hundred, four hundred, and fourteen. Okay, so we're almost there. Let's start working on the assembly director systems, which need manufacturers, I think. Or no, those just need assemblers. Thing. Let me check for the millionth time. Yeah, yeah, this one's just the supercomputer and the ACUs. And the ACUs are being made up here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Of which I already have most of what I need. Okay. Alright, so we'll take those ACUs back over here. Oh man, I built this backwards. Why did I do that? Probably because I'm not using my hover pack and I can't see what I'm doing. Alright. Power. You know what? That's just gonna break things. It's power from here. that when we deconstruct the blueprint, it'll still run. All right, assembly director systems, sloop, shard, full speed ahead, matey, link up the belt. All right, and then we need ADS, or no, ACUs. I have so many different combinations of letters. What was the other thing? was 250 supercomputers. That's costly. So, need another 100 of those. And we need an output on this bad boy. How's power, by the way? Power is using batteries. But it seems like it's stable-ish. Maybe. Maybe it's a little too low. Hmm. Definitely stable-ish, I would say. Once these manufacturers are done, that'll probably give me enough back. But these are still a few minutes from being done. Okay, fair enough. So does that mean I need more power? It does look like it's slowly eating into my batteries, so I can't. I can just ignore this. 
Could go get more geothermal. Any geothermal I haven't tapped close by. Uh, might be over here. No, I tapped that too. Where else? Geothermal is. At least all the close by geothermal I've tapped into. Okay. I don't know, we're still at 94%. I'll just let it go. Just let it go. And then. PCUs. I needed how many? I needed 500. And then I need another hundred supercomputers. Go in here. That's done. Assembly director systems are done. Magnetic doodads are done. Nuclear pasta is done. And the last thing we need is propulsion systems. Thermal propulsion rockets, which are manufacturers and that'll only take 25 minutes running double manufacturers that are slooped. Okay. So once this is done with the assembly adaptive control units, then we'll call it a day. Um, I am a bit concerned about these being short a couple, because didn't I feed the exact amount of computers? So I might do like another 12 computers and a few more modular frames now just hand feed and circuit boards I know I had some extra wiring, so. Okay, that should make sure we have enough of those. And are we done now with these? Uh, we're pretty close. Actually, we might be done. Now, let me feed the final frameworks here. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What else do we need? I think that's it, right? My poor little base is riding the struggle bus, but other than that, we're doing fine. Power... Power is not quite fine. I could throw down... You know what I'll do? Let's throw down a quick fuel generator blueprint that we can run on rocket fuel for a minute. Because I should have plenty of rocket fuel here that we can steal. So we'll just use that for a minute. Might need to pressurize that. We'll see. Pick that up. Clock these. Which, uh, I don't know why you can't paste settings into power generators or water extractors. Okay. We actually are producing enough rocket fuel to keep this going. I think we're making like a minute, so. so that should just run. And that's an extra two and a half gigawatts, which should be enough, I think, to keep us in the green now. As long as the area, yeah, maybe not. It's pretty close. You're thinking about the area underneath this section being equal to the area over this section. And I think it might be okay now. It's definitely close. It'll last a lot longer, even if it's not good enough. I think now we'll make it to the end. Yeah, we'll make it to the end. 
Okay, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 514. Perfect. So that's done. And did we need to make something else in assemblers? I guess just the actual assembly director systems. No, I'm already making those here. Okay, so the assembler stuff is done. Now I need manufacturer stuff, right? The thermal propulsion rockets? Yeah. So... Let's just deliver these to the space elevator real quick. Go ahead and jetpack over. You know, I keep getting stuck on the splitter on the end of this thing. Gosh, the space elevator looks small compared to my factory. That's how you know you've built a lot. Hey, Lighthouse. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by and saying those encouraging words. Alright, so there's the magnetics. I'll just enjoy watching that for a moment. That's nice. I wonder how many points these are worth, because I'm going to have a few left over. Boom. All right. Let's go sink them. You sunk my battleship. All right, so... We're looking at about a million coops needed for the next one, so if I pop these in here, I can find them. 14. I have 14 of them. That's not as many as I hoped, actually. Wow. Those are not worth very many. I guess they were a little cheaper, right? They're only the flexible frame or versatile framework plus. Um, electromagnetic control rods. So that's not really the most expensive stuff. Something like the thermal propulsion rockets would probably be worth a lot, though. Hey, Lighthouse. Yeah, I totally enjoy uh, appreciate not wanting to see spoilers, so have fun with it. Enjoy the game. Alright, so we'll drop a manufacturer right there. And then put things up like before. Just a nice little tower here. Alright, and then what do these last ones need? Propulsion rockets. So I need 250 of them. Which means I need 125 fuse frames and 125 turbo motors. So I'll do 140. Perfect. Turbo motors. I'll also do 140. Uh, let's try to get the exact same amount. Thirty-five, whatever. That's fine. That's still ten more than we need. Um, okay, so turbos, FMFs, and then we needed the modular engines here, of which I have some extras. And then what was the last thing? Cooling systems, and for those I need three seventy-five. So there's three hundred. And I forgot to sloop. Oh, I haven't even set these up yet. Alright. Guard. Overclock. Copy. Paste. Power. There we 
go. There we go, there we go. 10 a minute, 25 minutes of that will get me what we want. I do need another 75 cooling systems. Right? 370? No, 375. No, that's right, that's right. Uh, so I'll do an extra like 20 or something. Do 95. There we go. And that should be it. I can find them. There we go. So that's that's done for all of them? Uh-oh. Oh, I just disconnected the power. Okay. Um Should I let the batteries finish charging? Looks like they're done. Sweet. Okay, so we are 14 or 28 percent of the way done with nuclear pasta. Is that right? Yeah, 29, I guess. So that's still gonna take a while. Five a minute. That's 40 minutes in total. So we are. Upload a few things here. Slugs, spheres. All right, and I have 19 drives. I'm gonna start researching those once we hit tier nine. We're gonna get some good stuff. I can feel it. Feel it. Director systems are all going. Propulsion rockets are going, and the pasta's going. Yeah, so now it's just a waiting game. So I think I'm going to pause the recording now, because I'm not going to do anything else production-wise. And then I'll unpause it once these are all done, and we can finish phase four. All right, future YouTubians, welcome back. We have finished all of the craftings. I also improved our aluminum line uh, to use the... Uh, what's it called? I already forgot. I'm using the pure aluminum ingot recipe, which cuts down on my productivity. I basically get three instead of four ingots from a pile of six scrap, but I don't need any silica, which is a huge difference. In fact, now I'm getting extra silica from the process, and I went ahead and set up a 75% pri priority merger because there's no such thing as actual priority mergers, but basically it wraps back around, and so the silica I, I get from producing aluminum is now being used for like the silicon circuit boards and stuff. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and set this up with our thermal propulsion rockets. Need to watch those just fly in there. I will have a couple extras, I think. And then we get to do assembly director systems. Oh yeah, but they're gonna get stuck because of the belt. I guess that's a thing. And then we got 101 nuclear pasta. Just like Dalmatians. There they go. Little Pastafarians. You know what? I'm gonna put. Uh, that's not a storage container. For the screenshot of this episode, I'm gonna put a single pasta on the belt, and we're gonna. I'm gonna screenshot that. Nuclear pasta. Alright. And I think that's it. Guys, let's do it. This is a monumental moment. A monu moment. Unlocks tears nine. 
Someday, I'm hoping for tier 10. Although, I don't know. Would that make the game too long? I feel like the game's already pretty long. For non-factory non people, I, this would be a pretty hard game to beat. Definitely harder than Factorio. Welcome to the Pioneers Got Power Problems presentation. Pioneers Got Power that Problems. That was a joke. Anyway, you're familiar with the process. Just throw the lever and the automated systems will take over. Uh -huh. Imagine all the time and effort that would be wasted if you had to do all that work as well. Some work is just better suited for machines. Phase 5 <laughs> contains technology the human brain cannot comprehend. Thing. So Don't just ask. trust in me and fix it you policy wouldn't get it. and everything Don't will go bother as planned. Trying. Answering all your questions will take time we simply do not have. Everything is going to be just fine, so long as you do your job. We've come this far together after all, haven't we? Anyway, you know what to do. Just don't forget to keep producing previous project parts, and plan ahead when setting up new production lines, and make sure not to leave it all make until sure the last moment. sure not to leave moment. it all until the last moment? That's how I work, Ada. How dare you. Alright, here we go. Phase 4 complete. Let's get a good view here. Efficient pioneering is the achievement we got. Like cleared the clouds, that's cool. Alright, what are you building up there? Ooh, propulsion. Those propulsion units not getting used for nothing. Making things look fancier up there. It does feel very portal. Yeah, Derek. I agree. Kind of the sassy computer AI. Alright, sweet. Phase 4 of project assembly completed. If style was measured in my performance reports, yours would be something special. Regardless, saving the day is within our grasp. Do not lose focus now. Oh you must understand the weight on your shoulders, but you are not alone. I am here, and I know exactly what's at stake. This goes beyond Earth. Your actions will affect the universe at beyond large. Earth. You might think I am exaggerating. I thought Perhaps I was just you will saving understand Earth. Once you finish project assembly. Phase 5 awaits. I expect your best work. Oh boy. Alright, tier 9. What do we got? Blueprints Mark 3. Matter conversion. Converter. Harnesses reanimated Sam to enable precise energy and matter transmutation. <laughs> now you unlock the scannable resource of Sam. Imagine playing this far without dimensional depots. What a terrible life that would be. Fixite ingots. Fixite Trigon, made from Fixite ingots. It basically solves structural engineering. Biochemical Sculptor. Production of synthetic biological resources. Quantum encoding, we get a quantum encoder. We do excited photonic matter, and then we get dark matter residue, neural quantum processors, oh my god. AI expansion server, that's created in the particle accelerator, clearly, because it gives the power usage. Blueprint designer mark three will be nice, but I need all the new stuff for that. Spatial energy regulation, main portal. <gasps> It does exist! They didn't spoil this! <gasps> they didn't spoil this in the videos! There's portals! There's portals! Um, singularity cells need to be... I wonder if you need um, sloops for that. Interesting. Interesting. And then Mark Six belts. Fixonium? Usage and production of this material is strictly prohibited. On Earth, that is. There are no rules in space. You need 10,000 uh, <laughs> iron plates for this. Why would they do that to you? Is there anything else where we need an absurd amount of a tier 1 material? No, okay. And 5,000 of the sheets. But those are in stacks of 200, so... 
what is that? 24. We already have 5,000 basically in a container, but I don't have 10,000 iron plates. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, I guess step one is matter conversion. That's literally the only thing I can unlock, and we need to unlock all these basic new building blocks. So let me go grab cooling units, cooling systems, radio control units, and some more, oop, wrong kind of frame. And we'll see what the recipes are for these things. And yeah, I assume I will need lots of nuclear power pretty soon. The cost method is what you're disappointed in. Um, I'm okay with you spoiling that because we're going to build them eventually. What does it cost, Waskily? I'm curious. Uh, where am I going? I need cooling units. Celebration gunfire. You don't have to spoil to tell me the problem. I mean, I'm trying. What? So. It looked like you just need two portals and you can move from point to point. It costs per minute. Oh, I don't think I... So you actually need... It doesn't just use power, like hypertubes. You actually use resources. Yeah, that's pretty annoying then. I mean, to be fair, power is also just technically resources, but at a pretty low amount. Um, so if the amount of resources it's using... I mean, drones require items too, right? Because of fuel. So depending on how you look at it, everything requires items per minute to be active. Um... But obviously, if that cost is large, then that is annoying. All right, radio controlled units, a few more of those. The consumable is very expensive. Okay, yeah, that's that's kind of annoying. I, it mainly is going to be for one of those situations where, like, you have satellite bases across the map. Um, you know, like, if I had a big setup up here in the northwest it it would be pretty nice to just be able to get there right um a mark 6 belt launcher would get me there eventually or a hyper tube launcher if you're into that sort of thing would get you there even faster but all right here we go first tier 9 milestone milestone reached the converter uses strange alien matter abbreviated to sam to break down and transform materials at their most fundamental levels I am sure even you can appreciate the power to manipulate can't. atomic bonds. Sure can. Most importantly, you are now able to locally create Fixite, a highly adaptable synthetic metal, ideal for any kind of construction. It is everything we need to save the day, and perhaps its admirable qualities can inspire you. Yay. Okay, so the Sam... The reanimated Sam... Needs wire and steel pipes to make... Everything needs wire and steel pipes. That's freaking half the game. Is wire and steel pipes. Um, so, fixite ingot. Oh, look at that. We, we got the converter recipes unlocked. So now we can, like, turn quartz into copper or sulfur into copper or copper into caterium. Ooh. And all that nitrogen gas into bauxite no nitrogen gas from bauxite oh that's interesting fixite ingots can also be made from aluminum or caterium the caterium you need a lot more sam looks like there's three different recipes so aluminum is the fastest and you need the least amount of sam Interesting. Iron is the slowest, and you need six times as much iron. Huh. So I may just have to make a new belt of aluminum just for fixite. 
Wow, it's all sorts of new stuff. Uh, also, Derek, you asked earlier who would win in a fight, uh, GLaDOS or Ada? I think GLaDOS, probably. GLaDOS is shiftier, a little more, a little more cunning. All right, so what am I doing with my reanimated or non-reanimated Sam right now? It's just here, but I feel like, don't I cut this belt off at some point? Yeah, yeah, I cut that belt off and I put something else on it. So we're gonna have to, uh, I think we're gonna have to make Rianne Sam locally, which is coming from over here. And I also think I'm gonna give up on making all my buildings beautiful. So, I'll probably do a little reanimated Sam build here and put that on the belt. Reanimated Sam is made 30 a minute. So, yeah, a set of eight constructors is more than good enough. Let's do that. X8. Oh, I need to make a Mark V version of this. I keep putting that off. It's only gonna bite me in the butt. Okay. That is annoying. So we'll make it so that doesn't clip. Connect that there. And then... Set all these guys to excite. Oh, so trigons are made three from one. Nice. From fixite ingots. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Animated Sam. I don't actually need any. These are all 120 a minute already, so this is gonna use all. This is gonna use all of my Sam. I don't even know what the. I think it's a normal node, so we're only gonna get 600 a minute with an overclocked Minor Mark III. I'd rather put the reanimated Sam on a belt because I'm pretty sure Sam has no other purpose. So, yeah, there's really no point not to just reanimate it ASAP. So then we've got 600 a minute. Did I upgrade all the lifts? Okay, I did. Okay. And then... We'll figure this out. For now, deconstruct that. Build this. Of course it goes through that freaking wire. I just can't win. I just can't win. It's just like somehow when you're building belts, they always go through the gear wires. Just no matter what. No matter what you do. Alright, I'm gonna build this directly to the new area. And we're gonna sneak it in the side of the base here. Rather than... Yeah, we're just gonna go up there. Rather than like, trying to put it on the bus over there somewhere. So then, we just connect this up. Come on. Be nice. 
nice. All right, and then up here, we'll have it, where will it go? Do I have even a single open spot on the bus anymore? I'm not sure if I do. Uh, no, I guess this one's still open. Because I was shipping, yeah, this, this bottom left one is open, perfect. Perfect. Alright. And you're gonna come down. Reverse. Reverse, reverse. Okay. Reanimated. Same animated. Same I am. It will clip if it just goes through that, won't it? Or will that be okay? That will definitely clip. Okay. So, we have to do something annoying, like this. Hey, that's too close. I thought it looked a little too close. Go under the pipe the bend to grandmother's house and then I have to connect here so why don't I use these never used ones on the bottom here and there we go there we go all right, reanimated Sam is on the bus. Whee! And then from here, we're gonna deconstruct all of this nonsense. That we use to get project assembly assembled. Nice. Okay, so then this area is where we're gonna do all this final stuff. We'll see. Do I need any other resources? I'm probably lacking some things. Probably lacking some things, but we can at least get started with it. So, step one is to look at what time crystals are. The hoot and heck is a time crystal. So a time crystal made from two diamonds slowly in a converter and diamonds oh surprise surprise they're made with a crap ton of coal in a particle accelerator and it uses a lot less power only 500 megawatts so then it is now time to mammy jammy it up and see if there are some good alternates for all this new stuff we can find and i'm gonna go ahead and re-roll Petroleum, ooh, now this I can get behind. Cause that's only, that's only eight heavy oil residue. Now there's an option. So instant plutonium cells is interesting. I forget if that's good, it might be. Um, hmm. Petroleum diamonds. I'll, I'll wait on that. And what's this? Uranium fuel unit. It's so hard for me to parse this. So... I mean, it uses oscillators and rotors, but it uses only two-thirds of the amount of uranium. And it makes them 50% faster. I, I don't know. Is that good? I... Who knows? It would be better to sloop, because it makes them faster, so there's that. Uh, do I have any rescans? No. Alright, well I won't select any of those, because remember when you select it, now other things can roll it again. 
of the roll of the one you didn't select. So basically, if you don't need one of the recipes right now, you shouldn't pick it yet unless you want both recipes that are there. Because if you want both, you won't roll the one that you don't pick until you pick the one you didn't pick. Pick the one you do pick. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, I'm not going to select this yet because I think I'm going to start by trying the coal diamonds, but I'll probably end up wanting this for more diamonds, to be honest. Heck, I'm already sinking some heavy oil residue anyway, so that that's basically free diamonds. It's free real estate. Yeah, I'm just going to grab that recipe. Let's be honest. That seems good. Let's just grab it. Um, because we literally already have... Oh, I need to make Sam fluctuators. That's right. Um, I already have the uh, heavy oil residue right here on in the pipeline. So all I need is some refineries to turn that into petroleum coke, and then we got diamonds. So first we'll set up a fluctuator blueprint, which will be, I guess we should line these up with each other. Like so. I'll do a couple extra spaces because we're in the late game. You can never have too much space. All right, and then fluctuators use their reanimated SAM wire and steel pipe. So that's all pretty, pretty chill. Pretty chill. Okay, so the pro, <laughs> of course, that's right there. Uh, everything's always the worst. What? What's on this? Oh, I have another empty. Okay, that's good to know. I have another empty. Um, Thing. It's possible. So yeah, I definitely want reanimated Sam on the belt. It's possible I want fluctuators. Nope, never mind. They're only used in one place. Why is that not showing up? Oh, because I right. I for I need them to build something, not as an ingredient. Anyway. I need the wire, which is Wait, where's the wire? Is wire what's supposed to be on this one? Hmm. Ugh. This thing's so slow. Um, there's copper sheets. Did I take wire off the bus? At some point? must have because I think this is where wire was oh are we just had oh no oh my we're having serious copper problems what's going on here um there's a lot of wire oh no never mind wires back here I was wrong okay no wires fine it's just in a different spot So where does it end up then? My question still stands. Did I take wire off the bus or is it here? No, it's it's on the bus. I just missed it. Right here. All right. So wires on the bus. The wheels on the wires go round and round. So then we'll take off wire. Yeah, it's right here. And then steel pipes, which I believe are right above the wire. No, right underneath the wire, which are right here. Gosh, everything always has to be in the exact same spot, don't it? And then <laughs> and the um, Sam, ah, I'm being stolen, uh, which is right here. I'll have to move this coal over. Um, I don't even know how to do this. Then there's even... Oh my god. Um, you know, I'm gonna have to do a belt on the floor, I think. My dear friends and loved ones. 
You're gonna have to do a belt on the floor. Only for a minute, but it's gonna have to happen. Uh, I wanted to do default for that. And then this is going to be the coal. From here. Uh, that's good. And then the coal is going to come over and up. And yeah, I figured that would get a little clippy. Build up. Excuse me. All right, so this episode's starting to get a little long as usual for you future YouTubians. I'm probably, probably going to get time crystals going here or maybe diamonds or I don't know, something. Maybe just the sand fluctuators. Something for tier nine, though I guess technically tier sand fluctuators have been available since long before uh, tier nine. Okay, so reanimated Sam, and then pipes. This is basically motors. Is that gonna clip? It is, yes, gonna clip. Instead, we shall go up to here. Connect. Easy peasy. Reanimated Sam. Power it up with floor power. The power of floor. Um, why was that at such a weird angle? All right. There we go, sand fluctuators. Okay, and those need to go possibly to multiple locations, but at least for now, it just needs to go over to Dimensional Depot. Storage container. You know what I should do? It would look better. I need 10 of those sand fluctuators. Make the Dimensional Depot. There we go. Uh, I hadn't thought about this before. It will look better if I build the Dimensional Depot on the bottom, since I'm coming down from the top. Uh, no, I need to face it the other way, though. And then I build the storage container on top. That, and then I go down into the depot. Rather than kind of a weird, like, down upsy, upsy downsy thing. Get that at the same level. Okay, that's acceptable. Sweet! Alright, now sand fluctuators are fully automated. Shouldn't have to touch that anytime soon. Now let's check out what we got in the MAM here. Aluminum beam, insulated crystal oscillator, don't care, don't care, and don't really care about those, but I won't select them yet. Time for a new scan. And then, now what, time crystals? Time crystals. All we need is coal to make diamonds. Was that one the particle accelerator one? Yes, okay. So why don't I do, I've got some room back here. Why don't we, I don't have a blueprint yet. Heck, I don't even know. I'm actually curious now. Uh, you probably can't fit more than one. Yeah, you can fit one in here so you could do like one building plus a power connection plus a basic manifold setup, but you wouldn't even be able to put two in a row. Um, wow, these are long, long boys. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I guess. For now, I will bring the diamonds over here. Ah! Poof. That was close. Almost just yeeted myself. Yeetus deletus, as they call it. <laughs> I think is, is what the kids are calling it these days. Uh, we almost just yeetus deletus ourselves. I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. It's just those those stupid little rhymes that crack me up. Yeetus deletus. <laughs> it's like upsetty spaghetti. I, I don't know, I just love saying that. Upsetty spaghetti. Alright, speaking of spaghetti. Nuclear pasta, anybody? Uh, but yeah, so we can use both of these if we want. Once we run out of coal. Oh my god, 600 a minute? I did not really do the math on how absurd this was going to be. Alright, so... Is this where we underclock and sloop? To get free diamonds? Potentially? Free diamonds with free power? Let's go for it. Um, and then I'm not using this belt, so I will use that belt for coal, ironically. We're already using next to it. Oh, goodness. Uh, that should... Nope. We do need one more. Eventually you can skip. You know, you don't need to space it out three extra for every up. Eventually you can skip one, but I guess it's past that point. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna need uh, this coal to do even more. Maybe I put a splitter here. And then this can come around. What a mess. That. That can come up. No, that's clipping. Oh, Lordy, clipping. Let's just do it that way. Alright. So that's done. And then that's ugly. Sideways as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible. And you come this way. Be as possible. And then we're gonna have to disconnect that. Of course, that's not connectable. Okay, I think we did it. We should have coal over here. Goodness, what a pain. All right, and it's gonna go in the manifolds towards these manufacturers, but that's fine. Once it builds up a little bit, should be good to go. And then for these guys, we're just gonna set up a basic belt over. Fancy here. I probably should set up a blueprint for this, uh, but given there's only one input here, I figured I'd skip it. Oh, that's not high enough, right? I need to be on the second three level. Because the conveyor lifts have a minimum height of basically two. Some people would tell me I should just do it that way, but I don't like the way that looks. So there you go. Okay, why? How is that encroaching clearance? That's weird. 
Um, I don't know what's up with that. So... I think I have to come out further than I normally would need to for that. Like, yeah, that one... Why are those two different? Or no, they're not different, I guess. Never mind. Now that I look at it, they are exactly the same. I rescind my statement. Alright, there's coal. It should be... I didn't rebuild this one. There we go. Coal's going in. Power is not connected. I will just do normal power like that. And there you have it. There's diamonds. We got diamonds, baby. Um, I'm going to do what some would consider to be heresy. straight mode got really wonky there. But hey, we got diamonds! Now the question I have This is so bad. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I never do it this way. Never do this. I've lost my mind. Oh, not the splitter. Supposed to be a merger. Alright. Of course that doesn't connect. <sighs> yes. Why do I do this to myself? Just be normal. Just be normal! Alright, just build up to... Is that gonna... Is that gonna clip? Not really. It should be okay. You know, we were wondering, is Crydax gonna cut corners as he gets to tier 9 to try to beat the game? Yes. Heck yes. The answer is yes. No questions. Yes a million times. <laughs> Cor corners will be cut to save the day. Uh, you can be confident in that. You can be confident in that. It's already happening. It's already happening. Alright, but there you go. There's diamonds. Yay! Now, are diamonds used... I don't know yet if they're used to build buildings. So, there's a chance... I'll put a splitter here just in case that I split them off and put them in a container. Um, but for now... I will just bring them back over to here. I guess that means I need something like this and that so that these can come to here. And then, ah. Uh, I guess we need to be one higher, actually. There we go. And we'll bring the diamonds back for usage in other things over here. Will I be able to finish this playthrough in 25 days? Oh, yeah. We're only, we're only a few streams away. I say a few, but it might be more like 5 to 10. But, yes, I will be done. We will win before Factorio drops. Don't you worry. Yeah, look, diamonds. Demons. And 
I don't really know if we need the second one for right now. For now, a single slooped one is more than enough. Um, also, I need a deconstruct I forgot about. I had built this extra fuel generator area uh, just while we were using the particle accelerator for pasta. I do not need it anymore. Oh, we'll fix that. Okay. So, yeah, power is probably a next priority. I have fixed aluminum. So making more rubber is a priority and an actual nuclear power plant? Question mark? Um, because we're going to be using a lot of power in this next kind of series of things. These use 1 to 400 megawatts. Converter. This is so nice. So, what can you convert iron into? You can convert iron into coal? Oh, that's so nice! And it's a pretty good ratio. And you can sloop this? <gasps> you can sloop this! So you're telling me... I can get 600 coal a minute? I mean, 25 reanimated Sam kind of is a decent amount, but that's really nice. That's really nice. So now sulfur's not this giant pain in the butt. You can even get sulfur from iron. So now iron can make compacted coal if you needed to. Um, I will note, you cannot make water or um, crude oil. So that's a thing. So that... That inherently increases the value of crude oil. Unless there's an alternate recipe that pops up or something. Because you can't convert crude into anything and you can't convert anything into crude. That kind of makes all of these ores a little bit more interchangeable. Limestone, interestingly, can only be made from sulfur, but you can make sulfur from iron and coal. But you have to do multiple steps. Two sulfur gets you 12 limestone though. So, you don't need much sulfur. That's really interesting. It definitely makes you want to have a lot of reanimated Sam available. Um, 25 a minute for like almost a full belt. That's really not that bad. Ah, oh, sweet. I like that. I'm excited for all that sort of thing. But yeah, we're going to need to do time crystals um, from diamonds. I think in the for the milestones I think we didn't have diamonds as a cost but I definitely had time crystals as a cost so we'll work on that in the in the coming episodes I think we'll call that an episode here since we finished phase four and we've begun the journey towards phase five so we'll call that an episode there as always for those of you on future YouTube watching this recording thank you guys for watching if you're here live stick around we'll do a few more things but Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. We're doing it. 